NAMPT, that NAMPT enzyme, is, it seems like it's such a critical link because it, it recycles that nicotinamide to NMN and you get more NAD. So when we use NAD up, either via, via PARP enzymes to, to make the flags on DNA or via the sirtuins, which we're going to talk more about, that NAD is degraded to nicotinamide. I heard you say something really interesting on, one of, on Peter Atia's podcast. I wonder if you still feel this way. You, and I thought this made so much sense. You said maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to take nicotinamide and a lot of people may be taking nicotinamide as niacin, quote unquote, but from an enzymatic perspective, if you are taking nicotinamide, could that, could that inhibit the, it does inhibit the sirtuins in some ways because it's kind of a feedback regulator. The sirtuins use NAD, they make nicotinamide as a byproduct. So like in any reaction in chemistry, if you put in, if you put in things on the back end, if you put in the, you know, the products, it could inhibit the reaction. Is that right? Yeah, that was the first uh, big discovery that I made when I started my lab here at Harvard Medical School. Uh, it was a long time ago. I was only 29 years old. But we, we, what, what my student did, Kevin Bitterman, who's now a famous venture capitalist, uh, what his first experiment was, was to put nicotinamide on a plate of yeast cells and ask what happens to the sirtuins. And if they're active, they would be uh, red. And if they're not active, the yeast would turn white or stay white. And he came into my office hoping that they'd be, be red and he was very disappointed that they were all white. And I said, Kevin, this is fantastic news. I know you haven't discovered a sirtuin activator. That took us another few years. But he found the first sirtuin inhibitor and it was nicotinamide. And so we published that uh, in 2002. And it was really, um, it's become a tool. If you're a scientist who wants to study what happens when the sirtuins are inactive, you squirt in. 10, uh, what is it, 10 millimolar nicotinamide. So that's a high level. And probably our bodies clear out nicotinamide quickly. We excrete it as methyl nicotinamide. Right. But um, I've never taken the risk of, if I look at a bottle of vitamins and it says there's a high dose of ni niacinamide or nicotinamide, uh, I put it back because I'm not going to take the risk that even in my throat, in my mouth, in my gut, I'm not going to inhibit the sirtuins. You really want these sirtuins and PARP to be as active as they can be all the time. 